and welcome back to K24 this morning with me, Shiko Kaitani. This is indeed a different take to our relationship Thursdays because this time it's a relationship with you. Yes, it's about calling yourself to a meeting. We always like to actually throw in personal development discussions, you know, and just have a conversation about life, about what you want to do, how you want to build yourself if you want to be a better you. In fact, that's it. There are conversations to a better you that we like to have on the show and we hope that you feel empowered and you are inspired to get moving uh, you know about what it is that you're going to set out to do we're having a great time in studio with one george simio he is a personal development coach and an author the author of this book that i'm holding in studio from resolution to execution is up for grabs by simply dming me on my instagram as at shiko kaitani and letting me know that you want this book in fact we need to ask you why you want this book okay Okay. Why is it that you want the book Resolution to Execution or From Resolution to Execution by George Simiu? Let me know and I'll be able to actually pick two winners from my DM and we will definitely figure out how one copy is getting to you. So Simiu, welcome back to the show. Thank you. We are throwing this word why, 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 why around, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and the reason we're telling people to send in their why is because George actually highlighted in the first half that if you don't have a why, what is the reason behind what you want to do, behind your goal, behind your resolution? If your why is not strong enough, excuse me, then everything is going to crumble. So what is your why? George, what was your why when you decided to write this book? Um, Shiko, I engage people big time. Yeah. In the corporate, training them. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I speak much to people. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I do a lot of coaching to people. And so I realized there was a time when I could meet people. Yeah. And today we have a discussion. Then when you meet next time, maybe, you realize uh, you're still stuck somewhere. Mm -hmm. People are stuck. People are stuck. Mm hmm um, you pass this resolution, then after some period of time, they're stuck. So that really um, inspired me to think of how can I help people. Sometimes people want to have something just to really make a reference to. Right. Yeah. And so put mm. down some thoughts on what exactly they need to do to in mm -hmm. order to fill the gaps. Yeah. And to get to the desired destination they want. Mm -hmm. And that's now what about this book, From mm -hmm. Resolution to Execution. Answering the question... What do you need to do in mm -hmm. order to move from that resolution mm -hmm. to that point of getting the results? Wow. Sure. What was the writing process like for you? Um, are we talking about tons and tons of research? Mm -hmm. um, are we talking mm -hmm. about strategies um, that you actually had to research on uh, to be, that are effective enough uh, mm -hmm. to coach people on? Mm -hmm. um, tell us about that. Well, um, writing is a very interesting journey, yeah. but again, any author or every author will always um, tell you that the experiences are different. Mm -hmm. My experience may not be your experience, but at the end of the day, it also brings us to one end goal, a book in our hands. <laughs> and um, for me, I think um, going back to what you just asked and sharing a, a bit about uh, my journey in writing, I think writing really needs a lot of research. Yeah. You can never, writing and speaking, um, needs a lot of research. Mm. Nobody wants to listen to you if it don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't share with them something more than what they don't know. Mm -hmm. People want to associate with you again in this life because of one, you know something more than what they know. Mm. That is how life is. Nobody wants to read this book if they um, come to a level knowing there's nothing new they're going to read in this book. Right. How can you spend hours just looking at something that's not going to challenge your mind mm -hmm. or, or provoke you in a certain way? Mm -hmm. And that's what we do in this book. Right. Yeah, so it needs a lot of research. Mm -hmm. That's I agree with you. Yeah. Um, and research, this means you have to really also be um, a good reader. Uh, you you are vast when you do a lot of reading. Right. Because again, you can't do a reputation. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it should be something new. It made me know something so new because there's nothing new under the sun, really, but giving it a new perspective. Right. A new flesh that people say, what? I've never thought about it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, something like that. So yeah. a lot of research, um, as you do that, also a, a good packaging, that's mm -hmm. very important mm -hmm. because uh, people love good things, myself <laughs> included. So, so you really have to think of how are you going to package your message? Absolutely. Are you going to put it out there? Right. Because if you don't want to do that, and, and so um, that also brings in something I share in this book, this uh, topic I share on, on 
branding. Branding. How it's, do you do that? Yeah, how, how, how are you doing it? And it's yes. not even sometimes what you're saying, it is how you're saying it. Yeah, mm. How you packaging it that makes the difference. Yeah. yeah okay. You okay. may have good ideas. Uh, you may be the best, like what you think. But how you put out, uh, yourself out there, people mm -hmm. say, ah, okay. I don't think so. I don't yeah. want this one. But speaking about the research that you took to actually write this book, um, mm -hmm. I had, you know, kind of alluded to the fact that all successful people seem mm -hmm. to have uh, a couple of things in common. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm saying this because me, myself, having watched other shows, mm -hmm. read quite a number of articles or mm -hmm. motivational books, mm -hmm. will talk about this, this, this sure. je ne sais quoi thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> About, them. about successful people that the rest of us as commoners don't understand. Mm. What is it that someone like Richard Branson to Elon Musk to Mark Zuckerberg to mm. Oprah to who Dr. Phil mm. are all understanding that we're not understanding in your opinion? I mean, this is a matter of perspective. Okay. So for you, what is it that you feel? Firstly, I, I think it's very important for us to define what success mm -hmm. because we sometimes think um, them, they are the only successful. Yeah. And even somebody at the village somewhere there or in the estate thinks that they are not successful because I'm not the richer today. But yeah. that's their success. That is their success. Uh -huh. um, for me, I, I, I feel it's good to understand that um, everyone gets to some level of success. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But um, there are some attributes that they, that we find them now that uh, the world has given them an opportunity to be so visible mm -hmm. and they have made some um, incredible impact in the society and they have some good qualities that we'll admire. Yeah. But even somebody has it, it's only that um, they, they don't take it so seriously. Mm -hmm. Like what I mentioned when you started this show is uh, they're not secret to success. Mm -hmm. Those people are disciplined. They tell you that. Mm -hmm. You hear somebody telling, I, I wake up at this time. Yeah. But again, that does not mean that if, if, if Richard wakes up by um, 4 a.m., you should wake up by 4 a.m. No, that <laughs> works, works for him. Right. You can wake up by 8, uh -huh. and you're so mean, uh, you do a lot of meaningful activities within like a few hours, then you get your catch. Mm -hmm. You know, though there is also an importance of just, for example, I mentioned something on waking up, waking up, that's very important. Right. So they are disciplined, that's yeah, something. That's discipline, uh, okay. They, they have focus, that yeah. is also they are um, t um, risk takers mm -hmm. so how much risk are you ready to take you will hear somebody goal. say this is a matter invested in this whole program or in this um idea and yeah. today it's this way mm -hmm. so the question is uh, how much are you able to do on what you hear about them when they say you should be a risk taker are you taking risk in your own sphere mm -hmm. when you hear them say being disciplined yeah yeah how I know being disciplined is very painful. Mm -hmm. How much are you able to endure to be disciplined in order to get to that desired destination that you want? Right. Uh, and so uh, when you say they have some good actionable strategies, what are your strategies that are so much um, relevant in your context and say, you know what, mm -hmm. you can't just dream today and say, I want to get there. Yes, you'll get there, but it's a whole process. Yeah. You have to do little things like say, how consistent are you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and in your own space, in whatever thing you want, yeah. trust me, you, you'll get there. Yeah. If, if, if you have a chance to meet them, you'll learn and notice that um, there is nothing really so new about them. Mm -hmm. All these things is an open book. Yeah. If you want to open your eyes and see, open your eyes and see and do it. The question is, um, like even what I keep on referring here, we know what we want sometimes. Mm -hmm. The challenge is we are not taking action. Mm -hmm. Or we are feeling we are not good enough to do it. Right. You know, if, if today I tell you you'll be on BBC tomorrow, you're wondering, me, Siko? Mm -hmm. Can I get there? How? <laughs> do I even have the voice? <laughs> you know, yeah. and you have the potential. Right. You, you can believe in yourself and throw yourself mm. in the deep end and then see how it comes. Yeah. So, so um, just in a nutshell, how I find it is um, these people, they do the common things in an common way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm it's true and i think uh, you know saudi soul comes to mind here because they you know in one of their songs they say we focus on the glory but we don't understand the story yeah and the truth here is that's it we're seeing the end products of mm -hmm. what these individuals had to go through for years yes challenge is i want to be like you today how you no know, like, like like some people out yeah. there they like, i want how? to be like chico how? you know nobody knows your story mm-hmm and, and, and if you walk through them through your journey, they'll be wondering, okay, this is what you've gone through to get to this space. Mm -hmm. 
you know, the thing is, uh, what you can just summarize is, is appreciate the process. Whatever thing you want to get into, um, appreciate the process. All right. Don't be a person of excuses, mm -hmm. big time. Because as I keep on saying, excuses will always excuse you from greatness or whatever <laughs> thing you want. All right. Why didn't you do this? You are giving an excuse or you haven't done it. Mm -hmm. This was your resolution. Why haven't you? I didn't get the resources. I didn't get the right network. Some of these things, sometimes we keep on saying, I don't have them. You can only get them when you're making them move. Mm -mm, yeah. You can only stumble on them when you're walking mm -hmm. or you're making the, uh, on, on that um, path. Yeah. So the, the, the concern here is you get started. Mm -hmm. Then things begin to fall in place. Like we keep on saying the world now will conspire to come and help you get there. Mm. Be celebrated one day. Yeah. But if you just sit in your coach and say, you know what, this is what I desire, this is what I want. And uh, you keep on, uh, uh, you know, even the Bible says prayer without action. Yes, you keep dead. on referring to that. Right. What's your action today? Mm -hmm. Like you just mentioned something, the year started. So what are you doing? Yeah. How far so far? Mm -hmm. How far so far? Yes. <laughs> or you've already uh, thrown in the towel and said this thing is hard. Yeah. Well, the choice again is yours. Mm -hmm. But you have a chance to just make the right decision and uh, do something about your life. All and, right. And, and you have the potential. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Yeah. I believe yeah. you can do it. As long as you're alive. Mm -hmm. Ah, you can turn the tables. <laughs> and CBO, there was a trend that started, a, a, you know, a couple of years ago, really did catch on. Uh, still, you know, growing because there are individuals who still don't see the essence of this or what it is. They don't really understand it. But let me just bring in vision boards at mm -hmm. this particular point in time and why it's so important or why there are very many coaches <coughs> in particular who are preach and swear by mm -hmm. the power of placing or writing oh, vision board. visualizing putting into pictures your goal or your dreams why is it so important um you know if, if we had time we'll go into the history and why did people start doing that yeah um there are those who have uh, the vision board like what you mentioned um, and it worked for them. That's a good thing anyway. But mm -hmm. the main thing why we have them is to just help you have a mental picture of visualizing like uh, this is what I want. Like now we're talking about two things. Number one, visualizing and the vision board. Now yeah. to visualize here, we're just having a mental picture of what exactly you want. Yeah. Yeah. And some will put even the vision boards in the places where they can see and refer to. to. The reason is mm -hmm. um, for this just to really um, keep them motivated. Right. Keep them focused. Mm hmm um, keep them, keep reminding them that, you know what, this is what you want. Get an inspiration. You know, um, you don't have time to procrastinate. Mm -hmm. This is what you're looking at. And this is the time frame. So um, the moment you pull that out of your picture, mm -hmm. then other things will definitely come to occupy it. Yeah. And you may not, uh, it may not be the thing you wanted. Mm -hmm. So having, visualizing that uh, this is what I want, is very important. But again, Shiko have to mention this that visualization is not just one event. Okay. It is a whole process that you have to keep on doing from time to time. Mm -hmm. You can't just sit here today and say, okay, I visualize that day and that is it. <laughs> you have to really learn the art again. Right. Of just finding a quiet place, mm -hmm. a quiet time, uh, thinking through and say, what exactly do I want? Mm -hmm. Are you able to see it? Do you know again in this life, if, if you can't really figure out what you want, you'll not get it. No, that's true. Yeah. So yeah. what exactly do I want? Can I see it? Is it a house I want to build? Mm -hmm. Do I have really a picture of it? Right. Once you get that clear, um, you'll be on the right trajectory to make progress on the whatever you want to, to pursue. Right. But have it. Have it. Yeah. Um, I've seen also options of people just simply writing it down, like journaling. You know, that's also <coughs> quite effective for a number of individuals as well. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. choose what works for you, I suppose. Yeah, even, even just to mention something about writing. It's very important because you at least have a place to refer to. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, once you can always make a reference to something, I think, like what I just mentioned, yeah. it's important because yeah. you're already accountable to yourself. Like, why did you write it at the first place? Yeah, because there are some people who will be like, <laughs> okay, I decided this back in 2024, mm -hmm. and now we're in 2024... Yes, I mean, 2014, 20, 20, 20, and then now we're in 2024. Mm -hmm. And they're thinking in between that entire decade. Yes. Okay. What was I doing? <laughs> and then why did you write it back in 2014? Yeah, they lost it. 
<laughs> yeah, you lost it somewhere along the way. Uh, and maybe it's also if it's good for us to, to look at uh, why do you think people um, get to that space like they lose the momentum? Yeah. They lose the focus. Um, some of the things I find is because um, we were not so clear about what we really wanted sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or we had a lot. You know, you can find somebody who has like now the goals. I have uh, like 15. We mentioned something on being realistic. Yeah. Uh, there are those who uh, they don't believe in themselves and they lose it. So there, there are quite a number of um, um, reasons. reasons or right. factors that can cause us to find ourselves in that way. But above everything, mm -hmm. you have the ability to revive back and s get on the right track yeah. and do what's needed okay. and achieve the desired goal. Mm. What are your tips on how um, to not face burnout? Um, mm -hmm. in your journey because like you had said there will be challenges mm -hmm. um, getting to your goal doesn't mean it's a straight line mm -hmm. there will be pit stops along the way mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. there has to be something that's got to keep you going of course you've talked about the why mm -hmm. but what yeah. other mm -hmm. tips would you recommend for people to just practice mm -hmm. so that they keep their eye on the prize well Shiko um, one uh, it's good to mention this facing a burnout is a natural thing Mm. And you're not the only one. If, if today you're experiencing, know that you're not the only one. People out there and everyone, ex almost everyone experiences it. So once you, um, you get there, um, you have to understand that um, there are some reasons as to why you experience the burnout. Mm -hmm. Number one, is it, uh, you know, when you know the why, that's yeah. very important. Yeah. Uh, we always keep on saying this, that there is no recovery without discovery. Mm -hmm. And even if you go to doctors, they'll tell you that. They begin by trying to really discover, uh, yeah, what discover the issue your problem. Is. Yeah. So uh, it's very important for our viewers to just understand that mm -hmm. um, um, you really have to get to the bottom of the matter. Why am I experiencing this burnout? Mm -hmm. Why am I feeling so much overwhelmed? Yeah. But is it maybe because I procrastinate big time? Mm -hmm. You know, there are those, that's something that you really caused by yourself. Mm -hmm. There was something you wanted to do that you had said to do. Yeah. But uh, as time uh, doing life, you realize you kept on pushing it aside. Mm -hmm. uh, and very interesting, any task that you put aside, it will go and come back with friends. <laughs> yeah. You wanted to do something in the morning. <laughs> like that. You did not do it. Yes. In the afternoon, that activity will come back uh, glaring at you yeah. with two friends. Mm -hmm. Two other more tasks. Right. Now you already you're already feeling overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So how will I sort all this matter? So right. the, the bottom line here is you procrastinated. Mm -hmm. And they keep on telling people, whatever must be done today, do it today. Right. You don't have to really push it aside and say, you know what, I may do it tomorrow or another day. Like you yeah. see people are doing it. On. There's no even day like tomorrow. If you mm -hmm. check our calendar, you only have Monday to Sunday. Is there <laughs> another day called tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we have to be very intentional about this. Mm -hmm. um, some of the things, again, that make people to be so much overwhelmed is some they don't have the focus. Mm -hmm. Along the way, you lost the focus. Yeah. You, 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 you digress to something different. Right. So really know what's your problem. Mm -hmm. Is it that I said, yes, I sit down. I am so clear of what I want, but I'm not disciplined. Yes. You know, if you're not disciplined, chances are you'll not do what you wanted to do. Yeah. And like what Jim Rohn says, there's something very important that he says that there are two kinds of pain. The mm -hmm. pain of regret, if you don't do what that you want to do, then of course, you'll have to regret. Yeah. And, and it's not a good space. The wish I could, could have, should have. I wish I could. Yeah. That one is so weight, is so painful. Mm, the could have, would have, should have. Yeah. Mm, so type of just pain. be disciplined. Because if you're not, uh, you'll feel overwhelmed because right. of these things have not been done. It is true. Um, some other reasons you find people are not able to, they feel overwhelmed because they were not, they, yes, they knew what they wanted, but they didn't have good actionable plans. Mm hmm you know, just waking up and saying, now, I want to get to this matter. And what are the very specific things I need to do? Right. This is my strategy. Like now, these are media houses. Maybe say it's, it's marketing. What exactly about this marketing that you're going to do? Right. What are the specific things? And some people, they don't have those kind of things. Mm -hmm. I just want to do this. But if now you sit down with them and ask them now, let, let's get real to this matter. All right. This matter. What exactly do you want to, or how do you want to mm -hmm. go about it? Mm -hmm. Or they may have one or two things, but we have some other better options. 
So it's really good just to do more research. And yeah. then really, when you engage on something, you have, uh, you're so much informed. We always say you can always make better decisions when you are well informed. Mm -hmm. So try as much as you can to also be much informed yeah. because you'll avoid the regret that mm -hmm. ah, I wish I could have tried this and right. then, you know, time is not on the side. So there are quite a number of things uh, that people need to really consider when they're just uh, doing, um, uh, to, uh, trying to avoid being overwhelmed. But the truth is you'll be overwhelmed. <laughs> like it or not. <laughs> yeah, I like it or not because uh, mm. nothing good comes easy. Nothing good comes easy. Whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. And so even as we begin to wind up, because I understand we've got about uh, four minutes or so, mm -hmm. um, is really to cap it the power of positivity while you're trying to, you know, hit your goals, when you're striving for your goals. Mm -hmm. Why mm -hmm. does, you know, your mental state and how you view things, your attitude, mm -hmm. really matter when it comes to your resolutions or to your goals, so to speak? Um, Shiko is very important uh, to keep a positive mind, uh, positive, be just being po uh, the, um, positive about the whole situation. Uh, it will help you big time because it will even position your mindset. You understand, Shiko, that um, you can never rise in this life beyond your mindset. Mm -hmm. and, and that also shows the state of how um, you, you've tried to put yourself or place yourself. Right. So this is what I just want uh, to share with our viewers today. Mm -hmm. When you are positive about it, it will give you the zeal. It will give you the momentum, Correct. the energy. But if you're negative about it, most likely even your attitude will not allow you to make progress. Mm -hmm. But if you're positive, you maintain the positivity about the whole situation, or even when you face the, seat, the challenges, yeah. chances are you'll bounce back because you are looking at it from the other side of what if it succeeds? Correct. Then yeah. you bounce back and say, give it a try again. Right. And you never know. The, once t the, the, the very last we want to try, it could be a breakthrough. It could be a breakthrough. So it just, um, in a nutshell, it's just good for us to have a positive mindset. Yeah. And it's something you keep on cultivating as you mm. keep on moving, as you're doing whatever you're doing. Because again, it's not something that just come one day and say, now you know what? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. You've got to have the mental strength uh, yeah, for Yeah, the mental strength which yeah. um, comes in uh, day after day, time after time, right. as you keep on practicing these things mm -hmm. as you uh, do life. So it's just good to maintain the positivity and the positive uh, mindset as okay. you're approaching All right. your goal or your dream. Mm. Sibiu, how can people find um, uh, this book? Uh, and before actually you tell us where you found this book, uh, what's your favorite part of this book? Um, which chapters <laughs> really speak to you or are from your heart? Because they are your words in here. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So which ones off the top of your head are you feeling like, oh, that chapter, that's my dear one? Um. <laughs> You know, I, I've written many books, including yeah. now this one. Mm -hmm. But now specifically for this one, I cannot really say there's a specific chapter uh -huh. that really um, captures my attention. Because yeah. every chapter has um, adds value to this old uh, mm -hmm. title. Mm -hmm. It's answering something. Yeah. So uh, I think, for me, I like the whole book. Mm -hmm. Because I find everything in every page... It's so important. Yeah. So I can't really say this is my favorite at all. It's no, no, not really. Mm -hmm. But the whole book has, from page one, when you're starting just the first, um, now for this book, yeah. uh, from the very first chapter that is talking about Dare to Live. I know. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Just start. Skillful yes. goal setting. Why it's all about attitude. Courage yeah. as a whole chapter. Being a warrior and not a warrior. I like that. Mm -hmm. Moving from potential to performance. There's also about personal branding. How you packaging yourself. If you die now, I like this one, will the world miss you? Sure. That's really painful. <laughs> <laughs> Use what you've got or lose it at the end of the day. I think I'm already liking the table of context in this book. How can we find it, Simeo? Um, This book is uh, available. Yeah. Uh, one can get it um, in Nairobi. You can go to Elevation Bookshop mm -hmm. that is at uh, the Kenya Cinema Plaza, yeah. mezzanine floor. Mm -hmm. You'll get copies of this book. Uh, you can go to Nuria Stores in Bazaar Plaza, mm -hmm. uh, 11th floor. You can still get copies right over there. Uh, you can go t um, to Amazon. You can get the book. Yeah. And then you can even just reach out to me on my social media. That is uh, George Smee. Mm -hmm. It's still uh, 
you can ensure how you can get the book. Fantastic. Just go to my website, www.georgesmiu.com. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Sure. Thank you so much for that, George. want to wish you all the best, um, uh, you know, even as you continue to promo your book. Um, I can see, obviously, more about uh, your company, which is a corporate training academic mentorship program in schools um, uh, for personal development programs and so much more known as inspiredtalks.inc. All right, there you have it uh, from resolution to execution, ladies and gentlemen. We've learned a lot from George Simiu. Um, in regards to our goal setting, those resolutions that you managed to pen down, how are you going to move them from paper, okay, uh, to reality? Um, whatever it is, whether it is your finances, whether it is your studies, whether it's in relationships. Ladies, you had that. Don't just say, I want a man. What kind of man, eh? <laughs> And please have smarter goals, FYI, when it comes to finding that man. Are we together? Yes. If you enjoyed this conversation, let us know through our social media platforms at K24TV on Instagram, Facebook, as well as X. Please go ahead and uh, DM me if you would like to be one of the lucky two who walks away with a copy of this book from Resolution to Execution. Let's leave it right there and say thank you so much. My name is Shiko Kaitani. We appreciate you. Let's uh, hand over to Interactive as we take a look at what's trending today. Bye-bye.